very happy to have this opportunity to wish all of you a happy new year and to offer information on where the American Library Association stands with ebooks and digital content. I have had the great pleasure and privilege of working with Molly Raphael, my immediate past, the immediate past president, and with Barb Stripling, who will succeed me, to address the various issues around this topic. We've had a series of meetings with publishers, we've begun to talk with authors, and we have established ALA as an important player in addressing the various issues around the changes in the digital content ecosystem. This is an issue that is very important to me because it relates directly to the work that we're doing to strengthen our role in transforming communities. And as the people who live and work in our communities change in what they read and how they read it, it's critically important for libraries and librarians to be at the forefront of helping individuals come to terms with what some of these changes will mean. I also want to assure you that we're going to continue to provide leadership in this arena, but we invite you to join us in this effort. And the first thing that many of you can do is to participate in the various programs and activities at ALA's Midwinter Meeting in Seattle. I also want to remind everyone that American Libraries has this easy way to keep up to date, and that is the e-content blog. American Libraries also will publish this spring a digital content supplement, and I encourage you to read that. We've also recently issued a communications toolkit that is designed to help you at the local level communicate on these issues. And another thing that is in development that you will shortly see on the website is a scorecard on business models in the digital content arena. This is a very complex issue. It's a situation that calls for us to think in new and different ways about what it is that we deliver to our users, but also how it is that we deliver them. As self-publishing grows, there are likely to be opportunities for us to support self-publishing, to perhaps even get our libraries engaged in self-publishing. And in closing, I want to just suggest that this is a time of significant transformation and that each of us should be taking advantage of every opportunity to remind those with whom we work in our communities that while print is diminishing and there's an increase in a desire for digital content, the role and the opportunity for the library to support reading, to support discovery, to connect our public with our readers and with authors is critically important. Thank you for listening and Happy New Year to all of you.